Hi, so can you please introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Mr. J and I teach music and drama. So we did some research and we stalked you and <laughs> we want to know how do you get your ideas for your songs? So usually when I decide I'm going to do a new project, I brainstorm as many ideas as I can. So I might write like a whole bunch of song titles down like maybe 50 different song titles that I like, or something like that. And so I'll write a chorus every day for maybe a week, and then I'll pick the best one. So I, I don't write the song all the way start to finish, I just brainstorm lots and lots of ideas, and then pick the best one or two or three that I think are gonna work. And so then when I find the ones that work, then I complete them into full songs. So which one was the hardest to compose? Um, so the next one is always the hardest to compose, because <laughs> I, I think of all the things I've already composed, and I always wanna be improving and getting better. So I find the very first songs that I wrote um, were very easy to do, but as I write more, it gets harder and harder each time. So I I'm currently working on 11 new songs that have started since January and they're definitely the hardest ones, yeah. So our stockings are really good and we knew that you're dancing. Mm. How does your dancing background influence you today? Well, that's a great question. So I'm adopted, but my mom and dad met each other as ballroom dance teachers. So growing oh. up, I was around dance all the time. Like they were competitive ballroom dance teachers. Oh. When I was in high school, I did some competitive dance. So ballroom dancing was always really important to me. And I actually danced before I ever even played music. So I think it helped with my, my sense of rhythm and pulse and things like that. But yeah, I, I enjoy watching dancers and dancing. It's been a long time since I've danced, but a special memory for me, I guess. Okay, so let's talk about your cats. Of course, let's talk about our cats. <laughs> what is one thing your cat do that melts your heart? So they both are very, very different. Like they're totally opposite. Um, Rufus, the orange one, he really likes if I put him on the floor and spin him around in circles to where he gets dizzy, like he'll stand up and he'll be like this and he loves it. Like he'll start purring and he'll lay down and he'll want you to do it more. So he's like, he's like, a, I don't know, like an adrenaline junkie cat. <laughs> Radar, the black and white one, loves playing fetch. So I can throw toys and he'll pick them up and bring them back, just like a dog. Like he's a lot like a dog. He'll fetch and do all sorts of crazy tricks like that. Why cats, not dogs? I grew up with both cats and dogs, and I really like dogs. But since we live in a condo downtown, it's I, I feel like it's not fair for the dog because he can never gets to go outside. Like we're here at, at work 12 hours a day, and like it's just hard. It's easier for cats to be on their own than dogs. But I would love to have another dog someday. This one's really hard. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> If you had to choose one instrument to play for the rest of your life, what instrument would it be and why? That's actually the easiest question, I think. I would take my acoustic guitar. I love that I can play by myself or with a small group or with a big group. I can take it to the beach or I can take it to the recording studio. It's how I write songs, so definitely my acoustic guitar. What is something in your life that you wish you have done better? I mean, there's lots of things. I feel like I wouldn't change a lot because those experiences kind of made me who I am. They made me a better person. But I was a really bad student in middle school and high school. Like, I was I such too. a bad student in sixth grade that my parents pulled me out and homeschooled me for a couple of years to like get, get me right. And then in high school, like I had a really low GPA, like a 2.9 or something like that. But like the longer I was in school, the more I figured out that like, like just doing a good job reflects on me. And it's actually a lot more fun to do a good job than to always be behind and stressed out and like having bad grades. So like by the time I got to grad school to do my master's degree, I had a 4.0 and I wish I would have figured that out sooner because I would have had like more scholarships and like it would have been more fun. It was just like, it was so stressful to do a bad job in school and it wasn't worth it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.